An applet is very much a creature of the internet. It's meant to be downloaded by a web browser and its job is to display stuff inside the window provided by an HTML page. And it's not allowed to access the local disk of the computer for any reason, but it is allowed to access the server's disk drive. This applet loads an image file from the server and displays it in the browser window. That's all it does and you'll recognize the process as we go through it. This line of code declares a reference to a URL object and then calls the method getCodeBase that produces the URL. The code base is the directory from which the class file was loaded. As an alternative, the URL could have been retrieved by calling the method getDocumentBase, which is the directory in which the HTML page is stored. Now these are the only two URLs you're allowed to use for reading and writing files in an applet. It's that security thing. By using the URL and the name of a file, you can read and write any file found in that directory on the server or any file in a subdirectory of that directory, but nowhere else. Anyway, to load the image file, a call is made to the method getImage, specifying the URL and the name of the file. But just like was done earlier, this doesn't load the image. It only schedules the loading of the image, and we have to use our old friend the media tracker to find out when it is actually loaded. And just like we did before, this program calls the wait for all method to just wait until the entire image is loaded before going on. It's important that you choose something intelligent to do in here. Over the internet, there are lots of things that can go wrong and cause the loading of an image to fail. It's also wise to check whether there is any data in the loaded image. If it exists but has nothing in it, it will load just fine and display perfectly, but you may be a bit confused about what happens when nothing shows up. More than just a bad file can cause this condition, so it's best to check for it. All that's left of this applet is the paint method that displays the image. Oh, I created an HTML file with a window large enough to contain the image. This creates a window 450 by 450 pixels and turns it over to the applet for display. Running the applet with the applet viewer looks like this. And here's the whole world. Notice that the window is a little bit larger than the image it displays. There are a couple of things you can do to cure this. You can measure the size of the image you want to display and then specify those exact dimensions in your HTML. On the other hand, you can call the getBounds method to determine the size of the window and then produce a scaled image to fit it. But you have to be careful. If you rescale the image to fit the window size and then write the HTML so the window is oblong, the world comes out looking like a football.